Good evening, teacher. Good evening, William. How do you feel? I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, by camera. Uh, sick, sick. Sorry. Still sick. No problem. No problem, William. I understand it. Just pay attention to the class, okay? Thank you, teacher. No problem, no problem. Let's see, let's see. Susana, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. You better? Yes, teacher. Uh, yesterday for uh, the vacuum. I'm sorry for the what? And is a is a air flyer in the for my house. Oh really? Uh huh. I don't know. <laughs> well, but, you ready for today's class? Yes, teacher. Today, yes. Excellent. Excellent. 
I I talking about uh, I think um for the vacuum. Oh really? Yes, <laughs> I I fever. You got a fever? Uh, yes, I fever. I I have like. Oh. Well, but the good thing is that you're here. Relax, Susana. No problem. No problem. I understand. Okay. Welcome to the class. Uh, I, uh, and now I I I ready. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. That's great. That's great. Welcome to the class, Susana. Thank you very much. Thank you, let's see, let's see. Sylvia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. What about you? I'm just fine. Today is Thursday. Is your day off? Yes, it's my day off. Oh, really? That's nice. Yes. That's nice. Okay, and tell me, what did you do today? As is your day off, tell me. What were um, you doing today? What were your activities this day? Okay, um, I woke up like, um, I got up at 6, like 6 a.m. because I needed to go shopping. Oh, really? You went shopping today? Yeah, I went shopping in the morning. I bought some shoes, some uh, t-shirt, and jeans. And I went with my mother. We went shopping nice. together. Yes, and I I came I came home uh -huh. at twelve. After that, I just relaxed. I just um, listened to music. I was here talking with my family because my sister came to my to my house. She visited she visited uh, visited me today. And then I had lunch like at 3 p.m. It was late, but I eat. yeah, yes, <laughs> I'm used to to eat at at 3 p.m. because I eat at three at work, so that's why. Oh, that's I your break time. Home. Yes, that's like my break time. So when I when I am home, I used to eat that time. And just okay. that I was here. Um, I didn't do, I didn't go out today with my friends. So I feel, I feel good. I feel well rested. Okay, that's nice. It's good that you say that, I, you feel rested. That's important because I mean, tomorrow you start working again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, when I, when I go out all day, when I don't rest, or I don't I don't take a nap in my day off. Next day when I get to work, I feel really tired. Yeah, that happens but tomorrow, to me. Tomorrow I will be ready to work. That's very good. That's very good. And tell me, I just got a question for you. Usually yeah. do you have just one day off or do you have half a day another day in the week? No, just just one day off. And then tomorrow. It's almost one day and a half because tomorrow I get to work at 1 p.m. So I have the morning. I have. I check in. Morning. I check in. I check in at three. Uh, I'm sorry, at one. So my more. I have. Um. I am free. Good morning. Oh, that's nice. So you still got the morning rest. Yes. <laughs> and tell me, at what time do you wake up tomorrow? At what time do you usually wake up tomorrow? Like 8 or 9 p.m. Like, oh, that's nice. So <laughs> you sleep late. Yes, yes it's very late. I, I get up at or 9, 9 or 8 or 9. Most of that's the time, cool. most of the days at 9. And then I just get up and then I prepared my breakfast. I washed some clothes or I do the dishes. 
and then I get ready to work again. Okay, okay, okay. So usually, I mean, on a regular day, what time do you wake up? When I don't, when I don't work at eight or nine, but when I have my the morning shift, I have to get up at six a.m. because I have to be at work at seven. I have to check in at seven, so I have like oh. forty-five minutes to get ready, and then fifteen minutes that I work from home. Okay, well, so you have a when you got the the morning shift, it starts at seven and finishes at uh three p.m. 3 p.m. And when you yeah. got the afternoon shift, you start at? At 1 and I finish at 8 or 8.30. But at night is a little uh, complicated for me because when I have a lot of work, I'm not able to finish at 8. I'm yeah. almost finishing like 8.30 or sometimes at 9. Yeah, so that means that this month you got the night shift. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ouch. And how regularly do you switch shifts? Mm, I have, for example, mm -hmm. one day I go to the afternoon shift and next day I have to open the reception. So next day I have to do the morning shift and next day mm -hmm. in the afternoon and next day in the morning. Ouch. If I close the reception, I have to open the reception. So I feel tired when, when I do when I have that uh, shift because so yeah I you finish. got closing and opening mm -hmm. yes I finish at 8 or 8 30 p.m and I have to be at work I have to check in next day at 7. Yeah, it's I just of, come it's home to I just come home to sleep and then again to work <laughs> yeah you just go over and say hi to your mama yeah sometimes she's asleep so so you don't even see her <laughs> yes oh. Yeah, yeah, I understand you completely. Well, that's the way it is. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, Sylvia. An interesting talking to you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem, no problem. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, hmm, I got a lot of people today. Jensi, hello, Jensi, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Um, a little tired, maybe. It's Thursday. really yes. <laughs> okay, it's Thursday. Come on, it's Thursday. It's almost Friday, and you tell me that Fridays are happy days for you. But Thursday is one of the most difficult day for me. <laughs> Why is it so? I'm tired, teacher, and I'm I don't feel happy. I I don't know how to say it, but. It's the day that um, accumulate all the stress and I feel more sleepy than the other days. I don't know, it's, it, like the emotion for Friday is the um, bad emotion for Thursday. Oh, really? So Thursday, yep. is, Thursday is bad, but Friday, it's completely different yep. day. Low battery on Thursday. Oh, come on. Let's see, well, for me, hmm, it's Thursdays. Thursdays are cool. Thursdays are cool. Thursdays are like the, the middle of the week for me. So for me, Wednesday, Wednesday is heavy for me. Oh, man, Wednesdays are terrible. For me, Thursday. No, for me, Wednesday, because I got to teach like uh, I teach 10 hours, then I got a meeting like for an hour and a half, then I teach two more hours. So Wednesdays for me are like long days. <laughs> this week um, it was um, difficult, I think, because uh, we finished our no, one work on Tuesday, Tuesday, sorry. And normally we end on Friday and we, we, we are, how do you say acostumbrado? Used to. Used to finish on, 
on Friday and we we feel Wednesday like another Monday. I don't know. We are confused with the days in in the office. Um, and we had a celebration on Tuesday too. And in the celebration in my office used to be on Friday, for example. And I don't know, we are confused with the week. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you get like, uh, things doesn't make sense for you. Ah, uh, uh, I'm not in the correct day. <laughs> you feel like it's not the right day. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, you understand. You well. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thanks, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Fernando, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. How's everything? Everything is smoothly. Come on, smoothly. Yeah, everything is smooth. No, smooth. everything goes. Oh, well, you got to say it like this. You got to say everything is going on smoothly. Everything is going on smoothly. <clears throat> or you can say yeah. cool. You can just say cool. Cool. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Well, I'm fine. Oh man, it's it's closing. So tell me, what time did you finish working last night? Uh, yesterday around 1 a.m. Ouch. And you started today? Uh, Normal, normal schedule, seven thirty. My gosh, man, that's hard. Yes, but just not yesterday. Today I finished my my task. Oh really? You finished it already? Yeah, one a.m. today. Okay, well, that means that you are like you are more relaxed today. Um, are you still working on it? I'm still working on it because and the first the first day of the month, uh, accounting department uh, started with report to present um, Hacienda. IRS. Well, well, Sorry? actually, in our case, in our case, you gotta say Hacienda because that's the giving that's the giving name in El Salvador. It's Hacienda, okay. So you yes. say Hacienda, that's it. In oh, the okay. States, in the United States, they call it what we call Hacienda, they call it IRS. IRS. Yep, that's in the United States. Oh, okay. In our case, it's Hacienda. Okay, um, accounting department um, started a prepared report to present to Hacienda and they always uh, report me anything different, anything different to start the, to the closing because it's a big company. So it's a, it's a big data and always are, always uh, are different. Yeah. Or was it different? It's, but no, it's always different. It's always different. It's always different. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, I, to, to interrupt you, my friend. If you check in the chat, IRS in Internal Revenue Service. Internal Revenue Service. Yes, yeah, in the United States, revenue. that's what that's ingresos. Ingresos uh, revenue. Okay. Yeah. So that office in the United States, what we call Hacienda here, it's in the United States Internal Revenue Service. But everybody knows it by IRS. 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 Okay. Yeah. And everybody uh, hates them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Like, like here. <laughs> oh, man, in the United States. I mean, when we talk about taxes, Believe yeah. me, they tax everything and oh. they they tax very high. 
Yes, all, all things have tax, right? Yeah, everything is tax and some things are taxed pretty high. Yes, I I heard about it. Yeah, imagine. Imagine that if you won, if you win the lottery, half of it belongs to the government. Oh, then if you win a uh, one million, you don't you don't know a millionaire. The problem is this, there's something that they don't tell you. Uh, I mean, if you win the lottery, they tell you that you are exempt of paying taxes. What they don't explain to you is that you are exempt to paying the taxes uh, about that revenue for the current year. But the following year, they're going to charge you the taxes from the previous one and next ones. Oh, it's a bit. <laughs> oh man, it's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes, it is. It's it's very interesting. You know, the I was uh, a few months ago. I was teaching a uh, um, business English. I was teaching business English, and I and I got to 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 study and practice all that. I was talking about. Uh, marketing about well business in general and the vocabulary related to it is quite interesting actually interesting yeah it is it is it is well thank okay. you Fernando it's always it's always interesting talking to you my friend thank you teacher let's see Wilfredo oh my gosh I am I am amazed I am amazed and estoy muy impresionado with Wilfredo's responsibility. I am Wilfredo because Wilfredo is today in the class and I know that he's dying to watch a, a soccer game. With my eyes, I in class a teacher with another uh, watching the match. <laughs> yeah, you, you're gonna get like twisted eyes, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it is most important starting English teacher. But that's good. Right. That's good. Yeah. But tell me, how's the score? Did the game start already, Wilfredo? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, teacher. Will you repeat? Did the game start already? Yeah. Yeah. They it 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 start. Uh, I can see it. 11 minutes ago. Okay, and what's the score? Uh, zero, zero, zero. Zero? Okay. And, I, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, how do you say? I, I don't remember. Tied. Empatado. Tied. Yeah. yeah. Like, like tied there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, interesting, but, interesting. But yeah. you're gonna, you are excited for both things. You are excited for the class, of course, and you are excited for that. Yeah. And you know That's, what's funny? I, you know what's funny? The game is going to start at the same time that the class. Yeah. No, I, I prefer um, um, to learn. Because, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Last week, teacher, last week, I, I was you hear me? Yeah, I do, I do. The last week teacher, uh, I had I had a good opportunity to, to practice English in the United States. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah. you went. Yeah. That's nice, went. that's nice. Where did you my, go? Uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. I oh went to Las my Vegas. Guys. Yeah. yeah. Be careful. Um, Vegas is a good place to spend money. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we have to be very, very care careful because. So, do you, you, do you play slots? A lot of people li like playing slots. Do you know that um, word? Slots? What I mean, teacher? Slot. The machines that you put. Ah, when you play the machine. In. Yeah, that's slots. Yeah. 
I, I lost a, a little money trying to, to win, but uh, no, no, this is not for me, teacher. I prefer to to see another people play because they are put in a foot. Uh, yeah. But <clears throat> yeah, but it is interesting this city, but it is beautiful because um, I I could see many many places beautiful to to spend with the family. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, yeah. Vegas if. Uh, if you know how to how to take the trip, it's a nice trip. Yeah, it is. I, and I mean, I, but if you get if you get uh, into hook into gaming, man, it never sounds well. I I enjoyed teacher the trip when in Las Vegas Boulevard. My 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 cousin live live there in Las Vegas. And okay, at, tell me, at, tell me, tell me something, Wilfredo. You enjoy that? You enjoy the. Las Vegas Boulevard during the day the or at night? During the day or at night? At, at night. night is a whole it different is, story. Yeah. At night, it is beautiful. At night is nice. Yeah. During yeah. the days is horrible. It's so hot. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It, it, I I went two years ago. I stayed stayed there. In around October, I remember. It is very oh. cold, the weather. It's very yes. nice. But right now it's very, very hot. In October, you get the winds. It really yeah. blows. It starts so to change that. Yeah, it starts to change the weather. Then it is cold, but yeah. it, is, it is nice. Oh. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Nicolas, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening, how are you? I'm just fine, yesterday I couldn't practice with you. Hello, how are you? How was your day, tell me. Oh, my day is very good, the, uh, the day, today is very good. I um, uh, practice in the office a little English, a little oh, really? English, yes. Oh, really? How comes? I got a question for you. Look at this question. How yeah. comes? It means, uh, como así? Uh, well, I, for example, the homework, uh, I, I, I prepare my, my, my homework, for example, and I, um, it practice the, uh, the, the the concepts, the words, uh, the predictions, uh, in the others other aspects. Okay, that's great. That's nice. That's nice. It's always good that you practice, my friend. It's always nice. So tell me, it's a little bit cold where you live right now. It's a little bit cold. Yeah, is it? I'm asking you, is it cold? Because I see you with a little hoodie. Ah, yes, yes. I in this moment is 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 very cold. Uh, I have a problem with with my nose uh, for oh, really? excess of of frio, cold or excess cold. Cold. Yeah, excess of cold. Oh, really? Well, you gotta be careful with that. I need, I need, uh, I need, I need to wear, I need to wear. Oh, you need to keep warm, to keep your head yes. warm. Yes, I need uh, to keep warm. Okay, let me text the sentence for you. I need to keep like this. I need to keep my head warm. To keep, I need to keep my head warm. Excellent. Good, good. Well, be careful. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much, Nicolas, and welcome to the class. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see nice you. Nice to we see met. you. Yeah, we met a long while ago. Okay. Okay. Let's see, guys. Before we continue, I need to get, uh, as usual, the attendance. 
Betsy. Today we are on Thursday, the second. My dear Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. You are always the number one. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. Sí, o Carlos. Ok. Eh, Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Presentation. Thank you, Francisco. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. He's there. I see him. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Presentation. Thank you. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Presentation. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Presentation. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Thank you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, I got more people to talk to. Hello, Roxana, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm fine. And you, how are you? Well, here, you know. Did you drink coffee? I always got my, my mug. <laughs> or tea? No. <laughs> Just coffee. Yeah. I mean why? I can drink tea only when I when I got problems with uh, my gastritis. And I mean really big problems. Solo que me esté molestando mucho la gastritis. Otherwise, uh -uh, coffee. It's like a um, um, vicio. How do you say vicio, teacher, in, in English? Vice. 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 Yes, it is. My two biggest vices are uh, drinking coffee and reading. Reading. Reading, reading. Oh, I'm sorry. Reading. Uh -huh. Yeah. Interesting. No, I have to control it because I mean, when I get hooked with a book or something, I can be eating and and reading. I mean, and drink I, coffee. <laughs> and drink coffee. Yeah, but the problem is that uh, I have to control myself because I used to ignore everything around me. Sometimes I didn't even sleep because I was reading. Wow. Oh, yeah. for the light. No, it's just that when I get excited reading a book, I don't sleep. Okay. So I need, to, I need to control it. Keep calm, yeah. When I was yeah. young in my first job, eh, I drank a lot of coffee because the um, company, it was a cafetalera. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, they, I don't know if the company ex exists, no, existed? It's working Still now, but. Still exists. Ex 
Com. Still exists. It's, it still exists, but uh, maybe in, mm, eight years ago, they had um, some uh, terrenos in the volcano San Salvador. Lands. Volcano. Lands. Lands in the volcano. In the volcano. Hold on, Roxana. I'm sorry, that I don't. I don't see yeah, you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm talking to your picture. But hold on. They had some lands at San Salvador's volcano. Hi. You hear me? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because now I'm here in my cell phone because my son is using the computer. It's very mm -hmm. difficult to stay with the cell phone too close to my face. Yeah, I understand, so, I understand. Uh, okay. They have some lands at San Salvador's volcanoes. They have some lands in the volcano San, Sal San Salvador. At <laughs> San Salvador's volcano. At San Salvador volcano. Yep. So uh, we drunk. We can see we drank a lot of coffee in all days. Okay, because we used to drink. We used to drink a lot of coffee all day because uh, we are working in the production. So we deciding sometimes we was deciding sometimes the lands in the rest of the year and drink coffee at the office or in the lands. That's nice. Mm, yeah, I but <laughs> mm, I don't think so because now I can drink a lot of coffee. Just one cup of coffee one time, once on the day. Once a day. Because once, once a, a day. day. Because uh, my stomach is very uh, sen sensible. Sensitive. Sensible. Sensible. Oh, so really? I can drink, yeah, because uh, I drank a lot of coffee in the mm. past. Yeah, the same happens to me, actually. Right now, I'm just drink what? I mean, in the morning, early in the morning, I just drink uh, half a liter for breakfast. Okay. I, yeah, it's just that my thermos get half a liter and I take it for breakfast, full. Okay. Then around what, 8.30, I get another one. Around 10, I get another one. After lunch, I get another one. Around 3 p.m., I get another one. When I arrive home, around 5, I get another one. I so just you didn't one drink water, just coffee? No, I drink a lot of water. But in coffee? <laughs> yeah. Every time <laughs> I drink coffee, same. every time I drink coffee, I drink a lot of water. I can say that I drink a lot of uh, water because I drink a lot of uh, Coca-Cola, but it is not the same. Oh, Coca-Cola, <laughs> no, man, that's not good. You are so weird. No, the problem is that my, my stomach is very hard. I got a big, big gastritis and, and I need, I mean, I'm not supposed to drink coffee. I'm not supposed to eat uh, hot peppers and I love them. I mean, I eat jalapenos a lot. And there are many things, plenty of things that I don't, that I don't have to eat. But right now, you my stomach is, yeah, my stomach is under control. Right now it is under control. Because I haven't gone to the, I haven't been in the hospital like for two years, yeah, two years now. I mean, once For I yours. stay, yeah, once, last time I stay at the hospital, I stayed for five days. In, adentro, into the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
It was so cool. I was sleeping all five days. No, I dislike it. I prefer to stay at home. No, the last the time, the yes, last time I went to the hospital and I just stayed there around 15 hours and I dislike it. I prefer to stay at home in my bed. Hours. Uh, nah. No, the good thing is this, look, one of the medicines that they that they put in my in my veins that helped me to 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 control my my stomach, it gets me sleepy. Mm -hmm. So they used to wake me up just for food and for medicines. And then the rest of the day, sleeping. And at night, sleeping. <laughs> so it was so cool. It was my vacation time. Yeah, maybe. But it's very uh, difficult because you can't go to the bathroom, for example. Because you, when you are... When you are uh, wake up, you can't uh, stay, uh, you can't, uh, you can walk very well, because always you, you feel like a, a mareos. Dizziness. Dizziness. So it's, for me, it's very difficult, because uh, in my case, when I uh, was in the hospital, uh, they, uh, Put me um, sedantes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all the time I was sleeping, but when I uh, want, when I want go to the bathroom, I couldn't. Mm. Yeah, that's complex. Uh, no, but for me it was cool. Now the word that you were looking for is sedatives. 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 Yeah. And the other word you told me when you when you are wake up, the expression is when you are awake. Cuando está despierto. Yeah, when you are awake. Awake. Okay, awake. Awake. Well, thank you, Roxana. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Hey, Ambar. Hola, buenas. Hey, perdón, hello. Come on, Ambar. <laughs> that's, that's what happens because it, today was your first day, right? I'm, I'm watching the, the game. Uh -huh, you are distracted. And yes, today was my your first, first day, day at work. work. Yeah. How was it? Tell me. Talk to me. Yes. Uh, very busy because uh, how do you say me ponerme al día? Mm, well, I have to get back on track. Get back on track. Yes, uh, it was busy day because uh, I have to call many clients. Oh, really? Yes. So, and you know, an informal way to say that expression is this. I have, you can say, I have to get in touch. I have to get in touch with, with my clients. I have to get in touch with my with clients. My client. Yeah, yes. or with some clients. That means that you have to call them, you have to to greet them, to say hi, or perhaps to, to give them some information. Okay, that's okay. To get in touch. So, and how do you Sorry. feel? How, how do you feel after this day of work? Mm, well, I felt very happy. I, I already, I need to work. Because how do you say? Ya me sentía como rara tanto tiempo sin hacer nada. Yeah. I felt weird. I felt weird. I felt weird. Yeah. yeah, I imagine. I imagine a long time 
being at home. Yes. Really, it's horrible. Yes, uh, there were 30 days and I, um, I was bored. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. But the good thing is yes. that you are back on your feet and, and working, that's nice. Thank you very much, Amber, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Hey, Shanita, how are you? Hey, teacher. I'm good. And you? How's it going? Same old, same old, you know. Here, kicking it. <laughs> okay. And tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Oh, Jesus. Really, really tired. You know, it's end of month. Maybe we will finish on Monday, maybe. I have oh, a really? lot of something to do for solve some problems. Then uh, I turn off my computer a few minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Oh, really? So you just finished working? Yeah, but in a I way, have, in a I way, mean, to say, yeah, and I need to rest. I I really tired. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. You know, I mean, believe it. I'm a workaholic, but resting is very important. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise you crash down. And I have, and I have a lot of things to do for the weekend, then maybe this week, this weekend, I can to, to rest. Maybe, this weekend, maybe. I won't, I won't be able to rest. Okay. Let me text to you. I won't be able to rest. That means you will not. Yeah, you will not. Uh, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. maybe, maybe I able to rest on Wednesday, the next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Ouch. Yeah. That's a that's a long way from now. Okay. Yeah, I'm but you know. The glass teacher. You know, Janet, I mean, that's where the big box come from. I'm sorry, teacher. That's where the big box come from. Oh, yeah. Come on, teacher. Now, yeah, come that, on. That's, that's where the, the big amount of money comes from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we understand I? that. <laughs> Welcome no, to the class, Janet. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's see. Let's see. I still got time for a. I still got uh, five minutes. Uh, let's see, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. You? I'm just great. Just great. Tell me, how was your day? Um. Okay, but I I sleep all day. Say what? Yes, teacher. Uh, all day long? Yes, I say the, the Tuesday that I, I have a little dizzy. And to, uh, I felt, and I felt. I felt a little dizzy. And I went to the doctor yesterday. And oh, really? You got medical disability? No, but the student that are exam, how do you mm. say exam in the period? Uh, 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 Mid term. Okay, the student uh, have the meter and I don't. I didn't. I don't took, I didn't took classes. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't teach. I didn't, I didn't teach. Okay, I didn't teach. Remember something, whenever you got the auxiliary did or didn't, the, the, verb, the, verb, the verb goes present. in present. 
Yes. Yes. That's right. That's right. Don't forget. Well, good for you that you could rest. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much, Claudia, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Let's see who else is around. Let's see, Nestor. I remember seeing Nestor. Are you available? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Nestor? Um, very excited right now. Oh, really? Tell me why. <laughs> I see the play soccer. Okay, I'm watching. Ah, sorry. Yes, I'm watching the play soccer. Oh, really? Yes. I am watching the soccer game. Okay, I am watching the soccer game. Okay, and tell me how is it going? Um oh oh zero zero. Okay. Zero to zero. Zero oh. to zero. Yes. Okay. okay. But the El Salvador is better than the USA. Is playing good? Yeah. So good. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And how's the 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 okay? You're watching it at home. There's your your family there. No, in my office. <laughs> you're in your office, you're working. Yes, yes. Uh, hours? During the during the weekend, um, I stay in the office. I travel to my home only the weekend. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, where do you live? Uh, I live in Chetuapa City. And you work in? Oh, sorry, San in Santa Tecla. You work in Santa Tecla? Yes. And you live in Chaltrapa, man. Correct. Yeah. To commute, to commute is is very hard. Yes. Okay. Well, that's interesting, Mister. Quite interesting. Thank yeah. you, Mister. Welcome okay. to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Francisco. What about you? Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Just fine, teacher. Okay, tell me, how was your day? You working right now or on your yes. way? Uh, uh, no, teacher. Uh, I am. Uh, I went to work in the morning. Oh, that's nice. So today you got, uh, uh, you got home early. Yes, teacher. Yes. Tomorrow uh, I am going uh, in the afternoon shift. Oh, that's I mean, in a way it's cool because I mean you are go you have rest the afternoon, the night, and the morning. Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, and what about Saturday? Working. <laughs> it's, pos it's possible. Uh, I, I will working all day. It's possible. Oh, that's bad. But well, uh, the the Sunday uh, uh, is free. I yes, teacher. I I rest. <laughs> it's possible. I don't know too. Okay, okay. That's nice. Well, welcome to the class, Francisco. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. So let's see. Well, hello, Maria Luisa. Hello, Carlos. Hello, uh, 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 Jose Osorio. Let's see, Maria Alejandra, Fabiola. Cela. I'm sorry that I cannot continue uh, reading all of you because uh, it's the time according to my plan. And we need to move on to uh, some other activities. Don't worry that in the end, we are going to be working. We will have more to work and to deal with. Let's see, guys. Today, we are going to do and very small exercise that is like a review from yesterday's class. Let me share with you. We are going to do it together. Let's see. Look, 
we got exercise six. Look at the box above and complete the following paragraph. Add punctuation where necessary. We are working in exercise number six. So let's see. Uh, hold on, give me just a second. I'm gonna place this here, right here. Okay. Ambar, tell me, how do we start here? Look how to create an effective training manual. Can you see it? Can you see the screen, Ambar? Yes. Okay. What goes in this space? Do you remember from yesterday's class? Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, maybe initially or first. You okay. Have. Let's see. First, and remember something when these words are used at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed by the comma. So, first, comma. Okay. First, you have to complete, thank you very much, Amber, perfect. You have to complete okay. an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the processes you would like to improve in your company. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Maria Alejandra, tell me, what is next? I think there, I think, uh them or next <laughs> then, next you can also use this the ones that are in the box here you see uh, after so that it's necessary oh. to write the content and divide it divided in modules or chapters okay perfect after that comma it is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules or chapters. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That was Maria Alejandra. Maria Luisa. What about here? What goes in this space? Vera, you need to select my answer. The register prints. Um, decide the extra digital. Um, the register prints. No, no, no. Up here, oh. we got a space here. Before, you need to select the manual style. Is and decide if extra digital comes necessary. If you notice, um, they come in, they come in order. In this case, what we get is then. Um, then, then okay. you need to select a manual then, style. Yeah, and I forgot the comma. Oh, shame on me. Then. then you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Thank you very much. Marta. Hi, teacher. Finally. Please help me. Finally. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, team. Finally. Revise the manual and print it. So let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. Sylvia, would you mind reading the whole paragraph for us, please? Okay. Um, first, from the title, from the title, oh, please. How to create an effective training manual. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the progress you would like to improve in your company. After that, 
it is necessary to write the content, content and divide, divide it in modules or chapters. Then you have to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Finally, revise the manual and print it. Perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, now we get to the conversation part. Okay, we got the conversation. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can watch it. And let's see, I'm going to pronounce for you, but I'm also going to send you the picture of the conversation so you can have it because we are going to practice it as usual, right? Okay, let me get the picture for you guys. There you go. Okay, and it goes like this. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. I repeat, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. I repeat one last time. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers to greet the customers? And after that, how they need to present the menu. Actually, it will be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, guys, before we move on to the conversation, I need to get the attendance again. Sorry. Let's see. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. 
Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Calves. Present teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me divide you in groups so you can do the speaking part practice. Teacher. Yes. I, I have a question. Tell me. What, ask me. what, is, the, what is the difference between uh, servers and sales waiter or waiters? The servers include both male and female. Okay. Okay. That's Thank the you. only that's the only only difference. Okay. okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just give me a second. Okay, groups are created. You got three minutes to do the practice and then we come back. Let's jump in, please. Hello, teacher. Don't worry, Walter. I remember you are sick. Eh, recuerdo que usted está. Thank you, teacher. No problem. No problem. I'll be back later. Let me go check another group. Okay. You're sick? So I'm in the manual to train or start. What do you propose? Do you see better? Yeah. Oh, Maria Alejandra. <laughs> William is exactly like you, a little bit sick. Teacher, I don't feel sick. Uh, that oh. I only don't speak a lot of today. And mm. maybe I, I hear me. Or, uh, I mean, como ronca, yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah, because yesterday you were speaking like a guy, like very strong. <laughs> but yesterday I have a headache and I don't feel. Um, I didn't. I, I didn't feel. Okay. I, okay. I didn't feel okay. I didn't feel okay. And okay. this in case I don't talk with my sister and my mom. <laughs> <And> anyone <laughs> okay then maria alejandra be patient with william he's a little bit sick okay yes okay yo obviamente uh -huh. and we need to yeah. create a yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Teacher. whatever <You> <laughs> yeah 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 i got we are you <laughs> I got you. You know, when I was forming the groups, I didn't realize that these two beauties got together. <laughs> we are yeah. practicing. Actually, I just noticed. 
me acabo de dar cuenta. Oh, and I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> We talk about We work, like, teacher. Yeah, I know, I know, I understand that happens. So, who are we talking about? Mm, problems. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, about about problems. Uh, Roxana, tell me that I. Como, I have a problem now. La dejo al final. Yeah. El proceso. Oh, really? I'm not so important you, to you Yanira. <laughs> yeah. how do you it? I left it last. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I left last. But it's the process teacher. She, well, she you doesn't know, understand. You know, Roxana, last night I was chatting with Yanira. We were texting like mm -hmm. PM, and she mm -hmm. told me, ah, and she told me, no, man, Roxana. I'm up to hear her and her teacher, problems. <laughs> no, me, teacher. The I'm system is hear, a problem. I'm up to hear of Roxana. She complains about everything she told. No, teacher. The system <laughs> is a problem. And I'm not important no, to Yanira. Big, no, no, the really. system sometimes. The yeah, artist. the process and the Sorry. system. Is the order? I, I can't change this because it's the order. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is in common uh, before it. Um, how do you say it? Egresos teachers, I forgot the, the, the word. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't hear you. Como cuenta por pagar. Incoming as ingresos, mm. but how do you say ingresos? Expenses. Expenses, yeah. Expenses. And the last is commission. I'm sorry, Roxana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not important. I know. No, it's not true. It's the process. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really, I'm yeah. sorry. It's the process. And I, that people I complain don't... a lot. I imagine, Janina. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you, Janina. I mean, you, I understand you. you. Having to deal mm, with that mm -hmm. type of people is hard. <laughs> yeah. Bye. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What uh, do you propose? Silvia, manual, manual. Manual. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Now everybody's here. Perfect. Carlos and Wilfredo, you start. Carlos, you start, please. Okay, teacher. 
we need to create main steps to, to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, server need to know the correct way to present the menu. Will it, will it be, couldn't it be better if, if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it will be better if we include the server's dress call and appearance in the first chapter. Perfect, thank you very much. Maria Alejandra and William. William, you start. Teacher, Charlie, explain, please. Sure, sure, sure. I'll do it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And it's chair, chair, chair. Chair, chair, explain, please. There you go. Yes, we need to create the main steps to employ the in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Sir, server need to know the correct way to present the menu. Would be it be better if chapter one is about how service should rate the customer and after that how they need to present the menu? Actually, it will be better if we include include the server's dress, the dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Perfect. Remember, greet, greet. Now, Amber and Marcella. Marcella, you start. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What did you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Will it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Perfect, Amber. Please, Marcella, remember to present, to present the menu. To present the menu. Thank you. Fabiola and Martha. Fabiola, you start. <clears throat> we need to create the main, the main steps to include in the manual to try or stop. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Couldn't it be better if chapter, chapter one is about who servers should greet the, should greet the customers and after that, who they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance that in the first chapter. Perfect, thank you very much. Um, Fabiola, create, create. Okay, teach. And to okay. train, to train. To train and to train. Yeah, perfect. Now, Claudia and Jose Osorio. Uh, Jose, you start. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to press in the menu. Wouldn't it be better if, if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? 
Actually, it will be better if we include the server dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Perfect, Claudia, and perfect, Jose. Excellent pronunciation. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Fernando and Nestor. Uh, let's see, Fernando, you start. Okay, teacher. Uh, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it will be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first cha chapter. Perfect, guys. Pristine. Francisco and Maria Luisa. Francisco, you start. Okay, teacher. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how server should grade the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it wouldn't be, be better if we include the servers, dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Francisco. Mm -hmm. See. Greet, should greet. Who greet the customers? So great. And Maria Luisa. Correct way. Correct way. Correct way. And dress code. Dress code. No problem. No problem. Dress code. Dress, yes. dress code. Dress and appearance. code. Appearance. And appearance. In appearing, appearance, 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 appearance. Yes, thank you. Yes, excellent. Okay. Now, yep. Roxana and Shanira, let's see. Roxana, you start. Boy, boy, boy. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Correct. Servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how, how servers should greet, greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it could be better if we include the server's dress code in appearance in the first chap chapter. Perfect. Uh, Roxana, present, present the menu. Present the menu. Okay, yep. thank you. Perfect. Nicholas and Jensi. Jensi, you start. Okay, teacher. We need to create the main step to include in the, man, in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Present, present guys, present. Excellent, present. very well done. Sylvia and Susana. Sylvia, you start. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? 
First, children need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how is about how servers should greet the customers and after that how they need to present the menu? Actually, it could be better if we include the server dress called an appearance in the first chapter. Perfect, Sylvia. Susana, include, include. Include. Okay, guys, next exercise, exercise three. Okay, what we're gonna do in exercise three? We have to read the contents in a server training manual, organize the topics to create the index of the manual on the right, then present your index to the class. Okay, we are going to do it working in pairs again. Setting a table, decanting wine, requesting a chief change, following the schedule, addressing kitchen personnel, getting to know the menu, dress code, addressing customers about tips and taxes, prevention of accidents and safety. What I need you to do, to index them, to put them in an order, okay? So you're going to be working in pairs. A According to the plan, let me see. According to the plan, we got, oh no, but that's too much time. You will have 15 minutes to do the exercise, but I'll be checking the groups because you are going to be working in pairs. If I see that the groups have finished earlier, we come back earlier, okay? So let's make it 10 minutes. 10 minutes is enough. Any question about the activity? It's just to get them in order, right? Okay, remember, we're working in the manual in page number 21, okay? In the manual in page number 21. Okay, guys, hurry up, let's do it. Okay, Hello guys, uh, I'm sorry. We have to I'm, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. Just a second. I'm sorry, Fernando. My excuses. Uh, Nestor, okay. uh, today we have assigned the 10 minutes. Are you going to stay for the 10 extra minutes after the class? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much. Please continue, Fernando. My apologies. No problem, teacher. Okay, Nestor, we have to order the, the staff of the Hey, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Oh, there's Wilfredo. There's Wilfredo. You see, he came back. He came back. You were worried, <laughs> Wilfredo. <laughs> How's the game, Wilfredo? <laughs> Empty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I confused this, this board teacher. Tie with <laughs> Empty. I don't know. Tie. <laughs> I don't tie. Tie. Really. Okay. But it is good and much teacher. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. How do you say parejo in English? Even. 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 Yeah. It is very, very good. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's, let's continue starting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, for me, number one is dress code. Sorry. 
Sorry. She told me, Janita, I don't want to be with that lady no more. No, se me desconecto. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I think that is the first dressing. Caring. Um, the second one. No. Dress code. Dress code, yes. Mm -hmm. Dress code. Um. Yes, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Um, I'm, I'm here. I, I need your help. I'm here. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, I am having to resolve a, a situation, teacher, but I'm back. Okay. Okay, I, I need an um, idea for organize the topics. Okay, to organize the topic. Let's see, that's page number 21, exercise number. Let me see, let me see. I'm sorry that I had a problem with the, with the file. Just give me a second. Okay, what you're going to do, what you're going to do, Claudia, is very simple. You just need to get them in the order that, that you think is correct. So as a group, you are going to discuss. What do you think is needs to go first? Following the first. schedule. Yeah, what is first for you? Dress code, following the schedule, addressing customers. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is this is a manual. Estamos creando un manual. Okay. Mm -hmm. A server training manual. ¿Qué es lo primero que va a ir en el manual? Following the schedule. Okay, following the schedule. That's number one for you. Let's see what Jose thinks. Okay, discuss. That's the idea that we discuss and we get to an agreement, both of you. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't you write numbers next to them? Porque no les ponen números. It's easier. I don't know, but I. Oh, esto. Yeah. Uh... It's just a recommendation. Whatever works for you is okay. Hey, it's Thursday. Was your day off, Maria Alejandra? Today. <laughs> no, yesterday. Today. Thursday Today was your day. day off. Yeah, I just remember. Uh -huh. I, did, I have a two day off, Thursday and Sunday. That's cool. <laughs> yes. Addressing each person. Mm, okay. Or is prevention of accidents and safe accidents 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 and safe mm -hmm. by addressing customer mm -hmm. says getting to know the menu mm -hmm. seven Setting a table. Ocho de cutting wine. Nine requesting a ship chain. And then about tips and taxes. Así lo hicimos, pero. chain. Mm. <laughs> este, mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
so <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Teacher, the canteen wine is como, eh, como vaciar el vino. Vaciar, servirlo. ¿verdad? Yep. That's got a technique. Eso lleva una técnica. Really? Um, yes, of yes. course. Of course, my dear. First you, first, you arrive. Primero se llega. You show, uh, I mean, you go like this. You show the wine to the customer. Se le presenta el vino primero, la botella. So the customer can see the, the, the label uh, para que vea la viñeta. Okay. Cuando el customer uh, asiente de que ya la vio y que es a su satisfacción. Then you uncork. Luego se saca el corcho. You give the cork to the customer. Se le da el corcho al customer. Some of them, they like to smell it, okay? Then, oh, before that, uh, then you put, uh, you have you your, your off. then you have your, oh man, you have your napkin right here. Se tiene la, la servilleta del mesero, tiene que estar sobre el brazo. Then you ask for permission to serve the wine. Se pide permiso para servirlo, and then you serve first. First the guy and then the lady. That's the order. Teacher, but it's important the cup. How do you say copa? The cup. The cup is is important. Uh, depending choice the wine. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. 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 The situation is that, that the, depending on the on the wine. It depends on the cup because some cups don't let the wine to breathe. Hay, hay un tipo de copas que no le permitirían respirar. <laughs> and you need, uh, it depends, depends on the type of wine. Like if it's a red wine, it must be a, a regular cup. If it's a champagne, uh, it's a flute, yeah. it's long. If it's beer, it's like this. Cerveza is like, this different. I mean, every every beverage got a different one. Okay. Sitting at, sitting at table and next. And next. The canting wine. The canting wine. Okay. Um, teacher, yes, Mister. Uh, we finish our 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 index and okay. The... Why why don't you tell me how the end, how did it go? No. Hello. Why don't you tell me what's the order you got? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. My connection is a little. Unstable. Yeah. Unstable. yeah. yeah. Um, okay. And, and the order is first dress code. Uh -huh. Number two is following the schedule. Number three, requesting a, a ship chains, chains. And number four, addressing kitchen personnel. Number five, setting a table. And you continue, Nessa. Okay, the number six, uh, addressing customer, then getting to know the menu. The number eight, the canting wine. Number nine, about tips and taxes. And finally, the number 10, prevention of accident and safari. Okay, well, that's okay, that's fine, that's fine. You know, actually in these exercises, all of them can vary. I mean, there's not like a correct one. It depends on what you think. And that's what you're going to tell me. Why do you think that's the correct order? 
And I will ask you to, to defend one, the first or the last. Why do you put it first? Why did you put it last? Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, one more minute, no, two more minutes and we are gone, okay? Hey, teacher, uh, we have a uh, doubt. Yeah, tell me. Um, what is the canting wine? Is the oh. core how we serve the wine? Yeah, but remember that it's not just how you serve. When you talk about the canting wine, you are talking about uh, the waiter or the waitress need the instructions about from the very beginning when you arrive with the wine to the to the table you you show the 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 you show the bottle so the mm -hmm. client can see the label then you uncork in front of the client you give the cork to the client for their approval when they approve that is the wine that they wanted and that is correct then you ask for permission to decant the wine so it's a whole process okay it's, it's ethics yeah and it's quite interesting actually i mean okay. in some in some restaurants they do that if you ask for the bottle um, interesting yeah it is well let's go back Okay, we did you. Okay, let's see. We're just waiting for some people to come back. In a few seconds, they're going to be here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Look guys, in this exercise it's very important that we remember something. Uh, it wasn't really that there's a correct order. I mean, is the order that you consider appropriate, okay? And it depends, uh, I mean, that's subjective. It depends on your point of view. But let's start with, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Carlos, hello, Carlos, how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Good evening. Tell, tell me, Carlos, what was, for you, what is the, the first one, the first uh, label on the ind in the index? Okay, uh, for me, uh, the first one is uh, dress code. Okay, tell because, me why. Because uh, you need, the personnel know the how do you uh, 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 what is the, the what is the principal objective of your uh, I don't know how do you say transmit transmitir yeah transmit transmit okay uh, the, do you have to transmit the image image about a uh, the restaurant, for example, and when you are a client or a customer, you go to the restaurants and, and normally or usually you see the presentation of, 
in, of the waiters or waitress. And that is uh, uh, the first impression because that, that people is they contact with you in, in the place. And for me, that is uh, 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 the first uh, option in the, in the manual kitchen. Okay, very interesting. Thank you very much. Well exposed. <laughs> I like that, I like that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And what about you, Marta? For you, what is the first one? Uh, for me, is uh, dress code two. Okay. Excellent, so I mean, you are like in agreement with Carlos. Let's see guys, tell me, who of you got a different one, please? Who of you got a different one as the first one? Or everybody agrees that is dress code, the number one. Hey, teacher. Yes, Jose? Uh, in my, my case and Claudia, it's, it's different because- what you got? But the first is following the schedule, the schedule, okay. uh, because the important is about to follow a standard procedure step by step. Okay, very interesting. Thank you very much, Jose. Nice point of view. What about you, Roxana? What was your order? What was first for you and Janira? Janira and I uh, think that the first one is prevention of accident and safety because um, we think that it's important to know how uh, you need to uh, act, act, uh, act. act in, in front of some situations. Maybe the uh, personal need to have a, a, a little um, entrenamiento. Train, training? A little training about that. And if we in the, in the restaurant have um, fire or I don't know, a weird situation, maybe the personnel can uh, know how to uh, have to do what to do yeah what to do what to do excellent excellent and francisco agrees with you safety first cool let's see sylvia what about you what's the last for you the last or the first the last um we decided for requesting shift change. Okay, why? It, it is not the, the least in, important, but maybe at the end of the, of the manual, uh, we should let the staff know about um, if they have an emergency or if they have something important to do. Um, they should know how to, to request for a shift change. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. Let's see, Maria Alejandra, what about you? What's last for you? <laughs> sure. Um, the last for Miriam and I, uh, is the canting wine. Okay, why would you leave that for last? <laughs> I think that is the last because it's uh, the most complaint. And make when you explain or you have a training, you have a, this experience to I don't know, with a physical or you know only explain. Oh, you need to make a demonstration. Uh-huh, you, uh -huh, you make, you make? 
Yes. A demonstration. Yes. Ah, okay. You make a demonstration and maybe I think, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Now, you got acquainted with your classmate. You will have, guys, five minutes to create a conversation with your partner. What do you need to use? You need to use this, and I'll show it to you. Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, here. Okay, here it is. You need to use this expression. It will be better or wouldn't it be better? You use them to give a strong advice, suggestion, okay? Wouldn't it be better? It will be better. No sería mejor o sería mejor. Okay? I need a short conversation. Perhaps we won't have time to perform it today, but tomorrow we are going to open our class with the conversation. And I will take note of how the, the groups were left. So tomorrow, all of you are going to do it. Okay? So right now we are going to work in the creation of the conversation because tomorrow you are going to present it to the class. Am I clear? Si me explique? Yep. Perfect. Okay, guys. Teacher. You yes. You got exactly five minutes. Oh, teacher. Yes, Mister. Tell me. I, I lost my connection, so I, I can see the the giant. You can see the what? I can see the the window when oh, I joined the. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I got you. I got you. I will send you to one group, and then I will kick you back to your group. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see, we need to get the list of everybody for tomorrow's activity. We are going to take a picture of how the groups were created so we can save it for tomorrow. I gotta be like this. Let's see how did it go? 
Yes. Perfect. Let's go check on the groups. Yeah, because the problem happened because maybe we doesn't keep car of process. Yes. So it will be better if the if all the department have a process manual and follow all the steps. Yeah. Maybe it will be better when we change uh, some code in the application. We keep we keep record for this change because when someone new comes to the company, uh, doesn't doesn't know what is the correct process for make a new change or put this change in production. Actually, the some department, actually some department doesn't uh, know what happened with uh, some process in the past. Yeah, so it's very you, difficult because we don't have support about that. Do you remember the last Wednesday? Mm -hmm. What uh, uh, a headache. Uh, how to solve that problem. Ahí está Carlos y no lo habíamos visto. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> when are you going to include Carlos. I'm sorry. And Carlos, Carlos, <laughs> say hi. Carlos has been like this. <laughs> Carlos is watching the the play soccer. The soccer play. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carlos. This is this is oh, a reason I... that he doesn't But talking. Carlos didn't say right. anything. No, he was supervising. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> supervising. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, the process, Carlos. Yes, yes, I, I think it's, still, it's okay. I'm agreeing. <laughs> I'm agreeing. <laughs> all is so okay, you say. You say all is okay. Yes. Continue, okay. continue. <laughs> It wouldn't be better than if the selector won tonight. Ooh, oof, oof. Yes, that will be amazing because the game is important to pass the World Cup. Okay. Remember, Ambar is a question. Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't at the beginning. Okay. Um, okay. Like that? Yes. Okay. Wouldn't it be better than if tonight? Wouldn't it be better than if the selector won tonight? Erase them. Um. Like that. Perfect. Okay. Yes, that's that will be amazing. Teacher say in the platform. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, yes, yes. The teacher say me. <laughs> told me. Told me. Told me. Told me in the platform we practice the vocabulary for more expression about the speak speak with other people. Is oh. the most remind important. Me, remind me tomorrow. I can explain it to you, Fabiola. Okay. 
No, no la había. Okay, guys, uh, tomorrow I am watching the conversations. I already got how the, how the groups were created. So tomorrow I'll give you like three or four minutes for you to practice and then we're gonna do the conversation, okay? Because I want to hear you, how you construct. And that's something that we are going to start doing in this course. You are going to start constructing conversations, okay? Using the vocabulary provided. So let's see, before we finish, because believe it or not, it's time. Créanlo, no, se nos fue el tiempo. That's good when we have fun. I need to get the attendance one last time. So, oh my gosh, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh. Ambarili Alfaro Gomez? Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández? Present, teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Calves. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Ok, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to practice that conversation, okay? If you need any help, text me. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you bye. tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. So, Nestor, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Tell me, did the game finish already? Yes, finished already. Was it any good? Sorry? Was it any good? ¿Cómo quedaron? Estuvo bueno. Ah, okay. Yes, so good. Okay, that's good, that's good. Excellent. Yes, and so, so it's playing. 
very good. Yeah, well, you know, to get a tie against uh, uh, the United States is not an easy thing. Yes, yes, it is not easy. But today, um, they play very bad. I don't know what happened with them. I'm sorry, they play bad? Yes. Well, remember, the United States is not an easy team. Yes, yes, you're right. And they, and they got, I mean, some of their players are in a whole different level. They got some players playing in Europe, no? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, you have to take into an account that little fact that, I mean, the, the, the level of those players is a little bit high. Yes, yes. And usually, I mean, El Salvador against the United States, usually they lose. Yes, it's correct. But the, um, the or um, uh, equipos, how do you say equipo? Team. Uh, uh, all team. Uh, are regular because only Mexico, Mexico, it's game today. It's ganar, sorry. One. Win, win, won. Yeah. Mexico, it's only one today. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. It's the only team who won? Yes. They were playing against Jamaica, no? It's correct. Okay, how did they finish? Uh, two, Mexico two, uh, Jamaica, how do you say Jamaica? Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica one. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So let's go back to business. Tell me, Nestor, how do you feel? How do you feel in the classes? How do you feel in the course? Um, I'm very good, teacher. Really, um, I I started I study I study in another in another program. I don't know if you listen to about Capucon. Yep, I know them. Yes, um, I study with them. Um, they they are um, I don't know the the English the English um, the English uh, el inglés de ellos. How do you say el inglés de ellos? Their English. Their English is uh, more slow. Slower, slower. Slower, yes, it is more slower. No, did you just say is slower? It's slower, only slower. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Please remind me tomorrow, sending you a, 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 a PDF file that I have explaining the comparatives okay because last level i show it i showed that to to your classmates it's very interesting okay yeah and remember remember this is intermediate level i mean we need to go fast we need to go fast besides that uh, this is an intensive course so i mean we gotta practice a lot that's why I, i'm focused on you speaking a lot Yes, uh, but uh, the last level I started with them is in intermediate. Oh, really? One more. Yes. Well, and also remember, programs are different and also teachers are different. Yes, yes, I know. Yes, I know. And That's really, I, I like it. I like it, this program, because it's uh, so hard. 
it's so hard. And that is is like for me. It's better yeah, for me. Sorry. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's always good when we get pushed a little bit, right? Yes. Of course. Okay, I'm going to show you something that I've been sharing with your classmates. Okay. And let's see. Let's see. Let me know when you get to see. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, you got this access, right, to the to the Inglés Corporativo platform. Yes, I have it. And this is the course. Okay. Yes. If you come down here to Centro de Ayuda. Okay. If, if you click on it, and if you come down all the way down to, you scroll down to Recursos Académicos, you got grammar, okay. pronunciation, vocabulary. Okay. I will advise you right now to get into vocabulary. Here oh, you got okay. here you got a lot of vocabulary and it's group according to topics. You see the school, job occupations, work activities, the office, uh, feeling sick, symptoms, injuries, types of housing. So I will advise you to get into this. It's going to give you a lot of vocabulary. And remember, in this, when we are talking about a language, vocabulary is tools. Yes, yes, I know. Do you think you can get it? You don't get lost? No se me pierde in the platform? No, no, no. It's clear. Okay. Okay, and there's also grammar there, and the grammar is divided in levels. Basic grammar, basic, intermediate, and advanced. You can also check it out. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, that's another resource we have for you guys to practice. And, and whenever you have extra time, sometimes, sometimes we have, sometimes we don't. Now, a recommendation I will give you is if you are going to do extra, extra practice uh, on a daily basis, remember you work, then you got the class. I will advise you if you do extra from five to 10 minutes, tops okay okay because i mean you are you undergo a lot of stress and then you put an extra work i mean after 10 minutes your mind is going to start drifting La mente va a comenzar a divagar and you are not going to take advantage five minutes ten minutes it's a it's a length of time where you can focus really focus and take advantage of what you're studying but more than that, after a two hours class, it's too much. Yes. So that will be uh, my recommendation. Now tell me, is there any topic or something that is giving you problems during the class? Uh, really, really no. Uh, I don't understand the topic, but it's hard. It's hard to me. Uh, they, um, I think so. It's hard to me. They the constructions about the the idea when I want to speak. Okay, well, in that case, yeah, what I told you is what matters. First, get vocabulary. Okay. What I will recommend you is this, uh, focus on vocabulary about a specific topic and try to try to apply it on your daily basis. Okay, okay. if you are home, and you get the vocabulary from home, get it for the weekend, okay? Yes. And you go home, right? You see your family. So you can get home and family and try to, in your mind or out loud, like pointing stuff in the house and saying a uh, cupboard, refrigerator. What? Why am I telling you to do this? Because if you practice like that, I mean, if you relate the the vocabulary to your daily situations, actually it's going to get immersed in your mind. You internalize the vocabulary like that because you put it in something that is real for you. Okay, get it. And, and if you start like getting the vocabulary like weird words, very, pretty different words and you don't use it. I mean, it's something pretty subjective. It's not real for you, it's harder to get them. And the more vocabulary you have, the easier it is for you to express your ideas. Okay, I get it. 
I understand, yes, because that is, um, that did hard for me because I understand when I listen to you and I, when I write, grading is yeah. easy for me, I, I think, because um, my work helped me, helped me yeah. on, on that. Of course. Uh, but when I want to speak, uh, that is the problem because I, yeah, it becomes harder. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Something else. I mean, remember, you are learning. Uh, yes. Don't worry if you forget one word. Keep on constructing your idea because something that sometimes affects us is this. Uh, I bet you, le apuesto, you are saying a sentence and you stop in one word that you don't remember and you block, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Forget about the word that you don't remember. If you are in my class, say it in Spanish and finish the sentence. What am I going to do? Help you with that little word. And remember, you are learning, so it's not a problem if you make mistakes. Okay. But don't stop just for one word. No se me quede por una palabra que no logro explicar. Jump to the next idea. Okay? Okay. That is cool. And if you got any question during the day, remember, you can contact me. No problem. Okay? Okay. Very nice. Mister, it was a pleasure for me to have you here tonight. I hope to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. It's a pleasure to me too. Have a good night. Have a good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See ya. Well, that was today's class.